Wednesday class, it's me. I'm uh, going to be taking the class today and um, I'm just going to put the slides up. Please say hi on the chat. I'm just going to put up the slides and this is going to be the point for today. I'm going to just go back a bit and just have a little check in. Hi Lynn. Hi Jane. Um, yeah, because we're working on the fire element for the next this little group of four weeks and still with the emotional center of the body. So I'm going to do a slightly different class today, focusing on the heart um, and the heart protector. That's the emotional protection and it basically protects us on all levels. We've got point of the week coming up last week. I think it was Shakura did triple heat of 15 with you and we've got heart protector free more, um, more about that later on uh, in the class. So what we do is a different kind of scan today. We're going to scan in on the emotional level and we're going to focus in on the heart, um, uh, the heart center. And then what we'll do is I'll run one of the polls about the connection between the yin and yang. So we're going to check in, see how we're feeling in terms of balance between being too grounded or just the right amount of grounding, whether we're too uh, ungrounded. And what we do is just use those two bits of information, the information about our heart center and about our balance between yin and yang. And then what we'll do is we'll go through um, a set of exercises that are designed to chill us out, calm us down and center us in the heart center. Um, and we'll use the other meridians to help support that. And what I'll do is I'll feed in some Chinese medicine for you, some points, um, just so that we've got that ability to be able to relax the heart center relax the shen or the spirit and the awareness and regulate that with breathing. Okay, so let's do the scan first. And what I'm gonna to do today is we're gonna just check two things, whether we're feeling too grounded, not grounded enough, and then we're gonna tune into the heart center. Okay, I've got my chart here. So first of all, without doing anything, just like standing, okay, we're going to, just relax, feel the earth underneath us, feel the heavens above, and just get an idea of how we're feeling in our center. Whereabouts are we? Are we floating up too much? Or are we sinking down too much? Do we feel too heavy or too light? So just get a feeling for that. I'm gonna draw that on my chart here. You draw a big arrow upwards or downwards, just where you are. With that. Okay. And now I'm going to tune into the heart centre. We're going to just get a sense of what it's like. And at the end of the session, in an hour's time, we'll check in again. We'll see how we're feeling in terms of balancing between yin and yang. And we'll do so just see how the heart centre fits in with the rest of our energy field. Okay, so we're just going to relax again. We're just going to sense of our whole energy, whether there's any major areas of pain or blockage or any strong emotions going on anywhere in our body. Let's just tune into that, first of all. Okay, and now we're going to tune into the heart center. So you can imagine that around here we've got the acupuncture point CV17 or the heart chakra, got the heart organ here. So we're just tuning into this whole area, tuning into the heart, and getting an idea of what is it like. Okay, now you might feel it might feel a little bit tight, you might feel a bit unstable, you might feel really calm. Um, just see what that what that's like. Now turn that into a picture and we're going to draw that on our scan and then we'll go from there. So I'm just going to draw my heart picture. Okay, so here we are, that's my heart picture. It was a little bit tight around it. Might just be because I've been to the dentist this morning. I was actually in the dentist chair for 45 minutes just before I came in. 
if you if I speak a bit funny, it's because I've got slightly numb bottom lip <laughs> from the anaesthetic. Um, oh, Basti's on the chat. There you go. Hi, Basti. Um, great. Okay, so I'm going to find that poll that says. Um, Here we are. Is your energy too up, too down, or about right? Here we go. I'm going to share this poll. I want to get an idea. So are you too much, too ungrounded, too a little bit up, about balanced, or too down, or very much too down? So we'd just like to vote for that. And we'll just see where you are as a group. And look, as a group as a whole, we've got a few people who are a little bit too heavy but most of you are either balanced which is great or a little bit ungrounded a little bit connected with the yang and look at that i think you must have picked it up from me because look that's my picture there you can see my arrows going up there <laughs> so what that means in terms of our mission today which is to chill out the heart and the fire element is we need to make sure we feed in enough yin energy there um, to make sure that we you know su um, support the yin which is really important. And I'll, I'll talk a little bit more of that as we're doing the exercises. Um, I'm gonna run one other poll, I think. Um, I'm gonna put, yeah. Okay, so this scan of your heart, which of these matches it? Does it, your scan of your heart, do you feel it feels well and balanced, a little bit blocked or obstructed, a bit like mine? Uh, more tired or weak or a bit agitated, you might find it a little bit unstable, or you might feel a coldness there. So let's just see how your heart center felt, and that will give us really good information because we've got the yin to tonify, and we will know in a minute whether we need what we need to do. Okay, look at that, really, really evenly spread there between obstructed, a bit agitated, or weak. So what I'll do is I'll Modify the exercises in different ways, okay, as we go through. That's terrific information, and we can see that we've got a lot to do <laughs> on this uh, particular Wednesday to get ourselves really uh, in the zone. Okay, so overall, what we've got here is we've got generally a need to uh, work on developing our yin, and I'll show you how we can do that through the exercises. And then looking at this, we've got Quite a bit of work to do on the heart centre there. We've got no one actually said well and balanced when they when they tuned into the heart, so we've definitely got to do some work there. Okay, so let's go. <laughs> First of all, let's just work on any real basic obstruction in the body. We're just going to just do some loosening and uh, releasing to start with, and then we'll start building up the yin and working up towards uh, the heart center. Okay, so standing, shoulder width apart. Okay, we're gonna use the breath and start shaking out the body. Let's start at the top of the body and work down. We're gonna start off with the jaw. We're gonna release the jaw. Ah, 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 ah. And we're gonna bounce up and down, letting the jaw relax. Ah, 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 ah. Okay, now floating the head up, releasing the base of the cranium and shaking out the throat area. <coughs> and then working down, we're going to work down into the shoulders, shaking the shoulders out. Okay, now if you're feeling kind of tired, you want to do this nice and gently. If you're feeling you're really obstructed, then you need to just give it a bit more strength in the breath and get it moving. So just adjust the shaking depending on how you're feeling. And we're going to go down, relaxing the elbows, the wrists, and the fingertips. Very good. Okay, so now we're going to shake down through the body, we're keeping the spine extended, shaking any tension out down the spine, just moving my shoulders this way as well, just to open up the spine a little bit. Okay, 
Very good. Okay, now we're going to get into the shoulder, into the hips, shaking up the hips. Okay, very good. And then the whole body. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so now check this out. What I'd like you to do is place your hand on the heart center, okay? And I want you to just tune into kidney one, okay? and tune into the earth. Now, my guess is that you're probably a bit like me, most of you not feeling a very strong connection between the heart all the way down into kidney one and down into the earth. It's more feeling like it's going up, okay? And so what we need is we need to feed in some yin energy there from the earth and see if we can get it into the upper burner and that will chill out the heart and give us that kind of calm, grounded feeling. So the first thing we need to do you guessed it, is we need to open up kidney one and start connecting it upwards into the upper burner. So, let me get my chair. So I've got ready, just off camera here. There we are. Okay, excellent. Oh, I really don't want to take my socks off today because it's quite cold here. Suddenly got very cold in Norfolk um, and the temperature's dropping overnight. So. Feet are a bit cold, so I'm going to give them a bit of a rub and pressing and opening up the feet. There is a channel along the heel here which relates to the heart and also into the instep, the heart protector, the one we're working on as well. So, why don't we just open up the heel to start with and then around here is the heart protector channel. So just the heel and just into the instep here, we're just going to massage that and open that up a bit, just to open up those connections between kidney one and the fire element. Okay, and then we can come up and get into kidney one there, opening that, and then we can start working it, tapping. Again, you may want to just hold it. If you're feeling really tired and weak, you might want to just hold it with your thumb like that and imagine energy going up. But if you want to really stimulate it, if you can tap it gently or a little bit more firmly like that, just to activate that point. And the reason we want to do that is because kidney one, as you know, is the most, the strongest yin tonifying point in the body. And hopefully, we've worked it for about five minutes or something, we can go back and feel that, see whether it's had any effect on the heart center. <laughs> so here we go. A little bit more, I think, just get it a bit warmer. A little bit more on the heart area down here in the heel and the heart protector. The pericardium, which runs actually like over here in the instep there. Okay, very good. So I'm going to just Sock back on, keep my feet warm, and same on the other foot, opening up the heel, going up into the oh, my feet look so cold, it looks so cold. Let's get some more blood down there, <laughs> opening it up, bit of heart there. Our protector and let's get some let's get some chi and blood down into this So now let's test out the effect. We'll see what how we're doing so far. Get the kidney one effect going there. So we're standing.
focusing in, in on kidney one there. You notice your energy has dropped right down now. And we've got a much stronger connection with the earth. Now let's just check this out, placing a hand on the heart area. Now, those of you that voted for agitated or kind of like a weak feeling, may get, have already got quite a strong change there because that yin energy is really good, especially for the agitated feeling. We want to, uh, that's the one that's going to most calm down the heart the most. So you may already feel an effect here on the heart area. But we, if you don't feel too much yet, we've got plenty more to do. And one of the main things we want to do is tonify the yin kidney energy, which directly relates to the heart. So this is the next check-in. We're going to put our hand here on the heart center and place our hand just below the navel on the lower dantian. Okay, and let's just check that out. Now, what we really want is we want a nice feeling of kidney one connecting in with the earth. We want a nice strong feeling here. But we also want a really nice strong connection between the lower dantian and the upper dantian and, and the uh, middle dantian, the heart center. So just check in these two and see how they feel. Do they feel connected? And if they don't, we may have to work on the middle burner. But first of all, let's see if we can tonify the lower burner um, by using the breath and by using some points. So we've already opened up kidney one. So let's tap up the kidney channel from kidney one and three, and then we do some lower abdominal breathing and just to charge up that lower burner. Okay, so I'm going to just tap up the kidney three, up the kidney channel, comes up into here, then we go round onto the back, here, and down the back, down the bladder channel. I'm just going to do that three times. And then down the bladder channel. Okay. One more time for luck. Brush off here. Okay, shaking the legs out. Okay, placing a hand on the lower dantian, just here, just underneath the navel. Hey, there we go. Look, kidney one connecting through into the lower abdomen and keeping the shoulders relaxed. Rub our hands together, get some chi into the hands. Okay. And then keeping the hips soft, we're going to just rotate around CB4 and CB. Six, which is just below the navel here. As we're doing that, we're relaxing the shoulders, feeling the connection with kidney one with, this, with the earth. And now we're going to bring in the breathing. So we keep the rotation going and we're going to breathe into the lower dantian. Imagine light or energy coming in with breath and going down into the lower dantian. Okay, rubbing it still. And then long exhalation. And as we exhale, we imagine the chi from the breath stays into this, stays in this lower abdomen, abdominal area. Okay, so let's do that a few more times. Okay, now if you're anything like me, I think I need some activation of bladder 23 on the back. So if you can do this with your shoulders, this is a great point just in the uh, lumbar vertebrae there. Tonifies the kidneys. So we're gonna, again, keep shoulder width apart and we're rubbing the backs of our hands, bladder 23.
Okay, he's shaking the arms out. Okay, let's check in now. We're going to check into the lower abdomen. Feel the chi in the lower abdomen. Open up kidney one. There we go. Now that's a really nice, a really nice feeling there. The kidney channels open. Nice feeling of grounding, strength in the lower hara. And now let's just check that connection again. Okay, now you may already feel a change in the heart center here. You may feel it's starting to relax or you feel less agitated or stronger, depending on what you voted for earlier on. Okay, for me, it's still a little bit tight. So if you felt that mainly a tightness, it's probably still there because we need to do a few more things further up the body to really move that. But those of you that voted for agitated and tired, you're probably feeling already a lot more substantial in this area here and a nice connection starting between the two hands. Okay, now you can guess what we're gonna do next. We're gonna check the middle burner and just see whether that's obstructing this connection between the earth, kidney one, and the heart-kidney connection, which is a really important thing. It's the uh, Jing and Shen connection in the body, really deep Qigong style, important thing that we need to do, okay? And one of the things we need to do is keep this middle burner open. So let's just have a feel around here. Not too bad, I'm not too bad today, but still a little bit stiff around the diaphragm and underneath here, that's the liver and the stomach. So it'd be a good idea just to free that up. Okay, so let's start off by shaking the diaphragm and we're gonna use the internal organs here just to massage the, our own diaphragm by just jiggling up and down. Head floating up. Kidney one connects to the earth. Okay, relaxing the whole middle burner here and allowing the abdominal organs just to move gently up and massage the lower part of the diaphragm. Okay, so let's just do that. We're just gonna do that for a little while, just relaxing. Feeling the center of the body, feeling the central core. Nice long exhalations. Nice deep abdominal breaths because that helps open up the diaphragm. Okay, so now let's just twist. We're going to twist around like this and just be mindful of how that connects with the middle burner. Okay, you can twist around as far as you can, nice and easy. Keep that kidney one connected to the earth. Okay, and that stretches for the liver and the gallbladder mainly just to open up the middle burner. Okay, we can now once we've Got a feel for the stretch, we can turn that into a rotation, keeping that kidney one open. Okay, very good. And then back to centre. Again, a little bit of a massage there with the organs into the diaphragm. And now we can use some tapping. Let's use our liver, our liver points. We've got our liver points here on the near the floating rib, liver 13. We can tap that up around the chest area. This is like the whole liver channel here. Go down. And then we can go round onto the gallbladder channel, gallbladder 30, and then down the outside of the legs, then up the inside. We can go up, tapping again around here, down the gallbladder channel, up the liver channel. Okay, nice and easy. If you're feeling a bit weak, you want to take it easy, maybe you can just press here rather than tapping. It just depends really how stiff or blocked you feel in the middle burner. If you feel a little bit blocked there, you want, tapping is good. If you're feeling a bit tired, just hold the points and just pat down the middle, or just press down the channels. Okay, gallbladder down the other side. 
keep it aside. Okay, then we're going to flow straight into the stomach, which is the other middle burner meridian. So we're going to go down the outside of the abdominal muscles here. This is stomach. Down the outside, stomach channel. Stomach channel six. And then up the spleen channel. Okay. We're going to do a special on the spleen in a minute, but we've been around these channels three times. So this is the stomach. Okay, here we go. Right, so how do we keep that heart chilled out and calm? Well, one of the ways, the main way, is to make sure we've got plenty of yin energy coming up from the earth, just like we've done so far with the kidney one. You need that yin feeling to keep it calm. You need the breathing, the slow exhalations, but you also need to have some good blood there. The heart blood needs tonifying. And the way we do that in Chinese medicine is by tonifying the spleen. And it's all to do with the digestion, keeping the digestion strong so you've got good blood there going through the heart. So we can do that by placing a hand right over the navel this time and rotating around the navel. This is a spleen tonifying exercise. And while we're doing that, we're connecting down into the earth again. This is the earth element. Keeping the middle burner nice and relaxed, relaxing the shoulders. And this time we're visualizing the substance of the earth coming up through the legs, giving us a nice solid feeling going up into the middle burner. And that will help connect up and keep the heart blood strong and keep the Shen calmly and securely rooted into the heart blood. That's the way they talk about it in Chinese medicine. So we're going to get this nice warm tummy feeling, <laughs> a nice comfortable warm tummy connecting to the earth again. Very good. Okay, and now let's just check out and let's check in and see how we're doing. So connecting here, placing our hand on the lower Dantian, okay, and connecting with the heart center. Okay, now, can you feel that difference there? The connection's much stronger now between the two hands, and that's because we've worked on the middle burner. Those of you who felt a little bit weak in the heart area already, you're probably starting to feel it quite a bit stronger now, and that's because of the spleen tonifying, and this connection with the lower hara, okay? So just, it's just um, get into that feeling, just experience that feeling of connection between the two hands and then down into the earth by the spleen channel from the front of the legs, the stomach and spleen, and also through kidney one, through kidney one, down and in deep into the earth, into the inner of the earth, okay? So we've come a long way already. That's a really nice kind of feeling there. That gives us a really good foundation to work directly on the heart channel. And if you remember, the heart protector channel is down the middle of the arm. The triple heater that Shakura worked on last week is down the outside of the arm here. We've got the heart protector going all the way to this middle finger here, which is what we're going to work on uh, now, okay? Okay, so here's some hints, okay? If you felt it was, the heart area was tight, I would recommend that you do some nice tapping, keep the whole thing moving, because some of these points are really good for releasing any sort of congestive feeling in the, or blocked feeling in the uh, heart area. If it felt a little bit more agitating, a bit weaker, I would suggest that you just calm down and just find those areas that you feel give you a calm feeling in this area here. It all depends on where you're at, whatever, okay? So let's first of all test out the heart protector channel or the pericardial channel. We do that by bringing the hands up like this, breathing in, breathing out, spreading out and uh, connecting with the middle finger. Okay, now if you close your eyes, you'll probably feel a connection all the way down the inside of the arm, deep into the chest, um, and that's the facial connections that we have with the per pericardium channel and the heart, okay? So we're going to work them. As I say, you can either hold and work it, 
or if you've got more than tightness there, you may want to just tap it and pluck it out like this. So I'm going to tap myself because I need to kind of get it freed up. I'm going to go out towards the shoulder and then we're going to go down. Inside the arm, down to the middle finger, and then switch it round to the ring finger, which is where the triple heater runs. And then we're going to work up here onto the shoulder and then round again. That's it. So I get the right camera angle for you there. That's it. And then. Oui, okay, there we are. <laughs> Just keeping it on the camera, right to this finger here. Okay, and then we can do the other side. Okay, so now is probably a really good time to do our point of the week. So let's just check this stretch just to make sure the channel's as open as we, we can get it. So we're going to breathe in, breathe out, stretch towards the middle finger, breathe in, breathe out. Nice long exhalations, are really good. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, great. So let's check out uh, point of the week, which should be right here. Let's have a look. There we are, pericardium three. It's right in the, um, it's called curved marsh because it's in the curve of the um, elbow. It's right in the center of the um, elbow crease. And it's used, as you can imagine, for stuff in the arms, but also Look at this, that sensation of pounding in the heart, particularly in the upper abdominal area. So you've got this, any obstruction in the middle burner as well. And it's also used for palpitations, anxiety, panic attacks, and that kind of thing. So it has a very strong calming effect on not just the, uh, the heart, but also um, on the upper abdominal area as well, okay? So I thought it would be a really nice idea to just really experience that power of that point. And we're going to do it as a kind of energy exercise there. So, <clears throat> shake out. Okay. We're going to place our thumb right in the middle of the um, elbow crease here. Okay. Right, you'll feel a kind of like some tendons there. So, we're just pressing into those. Just gently holding that point. Okay. Standing feet shoulder width apart, we're centering ourselves, we're gently pressing in, and now just have a, as, uh, a feel of where you can feel the effects. You may feel a sensation down the arm towards the finger, that's opening up the channel in the arm. If you open up your armpits so you get a little bit more space there open up the channel you may feel a sensation up the arm and into the heart center there now if we take some nice easy breaths and then on the exhalation just imagine your energy going into this point through your thumb and just see what effect it has on the heart center, okay? Okay, and also tuning into the upper abdominal area. A 
Okay, and if you may very well feel a connection there between that point and all the way through to the heart center and the upper abdominal area, the um, diaphragm. So let's try the other side. I'm going to place my hand, her thumb right there on the middle of the uh, elbow crease. Okay. Relaxing, opening up kidney one, keeping that connection with the earth. Breathing, exhaling, imagining energy going into the point. Feel the connection down into the hand. Feel the connection up the arm and into the heart center. Okay, excellent. So if you felt anything particularly, please put it in the chat. Basti will help you, help responding. Just have a look there and see uh, whether you felt it mainly in the arm or in the diaphragm or in the heart center. Or even better, if you give me one second, I can make up a new poll and I can, let's, I'm going to make up a poll right on the fly. Where did did you feel heart protector three act? Okay, I'm going to put basically the arm, uh, the heart, or the diaphragm, or other. Okay, cool. Look at this. We, you've got polls being created live. <laughs> Let's go. I'm going to share it with you now and let's see. Okay, so where did you feel it act? Mainly in the arm, mainly in the heart area, in the diaphragm area, or somewhere else? And then we'll have a look. What have we got? Okay, so if you had other, that's really interesting. Maybe you want to put that in the chat because that's another action at the point. And it could be a knock-on effect for, with other different reasons. But isn't that so interesting? Look at that. So interesting because only the heart, only just be everyone, just like it's neck and neck with the arm and uh, quite a lot of um, others and a few diaphragms. So that's really interesting because that pretty much fits exactly with the classical um, indications of the channel. Um, so it's used, like I say, mainly for either arm issues or... Um, uh, the heart. So that's really interesting. There we go. We've got another poll right there. How about that? <laughs> okay, excellent. We've got 20 minutes left just to put it all together. But, so before we do anything else, let's check in and see how we're doing. Okay, so we're going to stand, shake out. We're going to feel kidney one there, connecting with the earth. Okay. We're going to, oh, my heart three is still zinging. I can still feel it. <laughs> we're going to put our hand here. Okay. We're going to put our hand in the heart area. Okay. And now what I want you to do, if you don't mind, is I want you to focus on kidney one, bring that yin in. Okay. And now focus on that heart protector three point. You can probably feel, still feel it buzzing away. Imagine a connection from your heart protector threes into your heart center and see what happens. Nice, easy breaths. How about that? Pretty amazing, right? We've got a really good connection with the earth. We've got our heart protector threes buzzing away. And what a lovely feeling in the chest. Really nice, nice and calm, unobstructed, much calmer and much more grounded. That feeling of connection between the two hands. That's your Jean Shen connection. What a lovely feeling, I don't want to stop it. <laughs> okay, we'll keep that feeling there. And all we need to do now is just make sure we clear all the Yang channels of the head, just in case there's any lurking obstruction in the Yang channels. So let's just keep that feeling of connection with the earth. Keep that calm feeling in the heart and just check out 
the head, the neck and the shoulders and the back and just see if we can just open them up and then we'll come back and just finish off with the breathing. Okay, so here we go. Okay, let's just check out the, um, the head and the face. Now the interesting thing is the tongue is connected with the fire element and the heart. So there's actually a branch of the heart meridian that goes underneath the jaw here, which I don't think we've worked on much, okay? Right underneath the jaw, I can give you a, like a, it's right underneath here, I can give you a close up. So how about this as an exercise to start off with on the face? We're gonna gently place our thumbs underneath the jaw here and aim up towards the tongue. Okay, and as you do that, just imagine a nice calm feeling going down from the tongue into the heart there. Nice, easy pressure. Okay. And if you notice any points that help this calm feeling here, then you can just stay a little bit longer there. I've actually got one right there that's making it feel like it's opening out. Very good. So that's the heart channel in the, in the face. So if we work up, we've got just the other side of the jaw. We've got the stomach channel. So we're going to work around there. Just pressing gently in at the root of the teeth there. And then we can do the large intestine channel, starting off in large, large, large intestine 20. Welcome smell, remember that one? We start off there and work around, around the upper teeth. And then pressing in. And then around the sinuses here. This is stomach one and two, remember, and stomach three. Okay, and then relax in the eyes. Okay, and then just stroking the forehead to start with. Just kind of wiping the face. And then we can tap the yang channels, starting off with the bladder. <clears throat> Round to bladder 10. Tapping the sides of the head. This is the triple heater and the gallbladder channels. Pulling the ears. Oh, so good. Okay, we're just clearing any of those yang channels that we need to in the head. Okay, excellent. Oh, you can see clearly now. Okay, so now it's time to make sure that the neck is uh, nice and relaxed. Start off with the stomach meridian, go the pressing like this into the, um, into the neck. So around here, this is the stomach channel here, right on the front of the SCM muscle. <laughs> and then we've got this linking thing, um, working bladder and gallbladder. So we can do this. There we go. I'm just going to do a little bit of tapping here if you need any tapping down the gallbladder or the bladder channel. You do that with the fingertips, just lightly tapping down. Then we get round to here, around T1. This is an important place. It's the meeting point of all the yang channels. Always a good pla place to get that really freed out as much as you can. And rotating and squeezing around T1. So I'm squeezing around this area here. 
squeezing it up into here and then releasing down with the arms and the shoulders like this. Squeezing, tapping. Okay, now we haven't done any work on the lung channel today, so I think what we'll do is we'll just do a little circuit of the lung and large intestine. The reason for that is because if you've got any congestion in the head, the large intestine channel is a really good channel to get the energy moving away from the head. So what we'll do is we'll go, in fact, we'll go down the large intestine channel this time, okay? So we're gonna go down the large intestine channel, down towards this main finger here. So we start off on the shoulder, we're going down. This is to push the energy away from the head. We're going to go down. Pull the fingers. We're going down this way. It's great for clearing the sinuses. And then we go down this way. Again, down. off. Okay, so now let's really get rid of any tension that we've got in the neck, the face. We're going to throw it down the large intestine channel from <laughs> this way. So it's like... Shaking, releasing on anti one round right here. Very good. Okay, excellent. So that just leaves us now to make sure that we clear the spine as much as we can. Really important. And the mid part of the back, that's around here, which is kind of difficult to get to, right in the middle here, that's related to the heart center, as you can imagine, because it's the place on the back that relates to the front, if you see what I mean? So it's like this, okay? So I'm going to just make sure that we open that area up nicely. What we can do is we can modify this stretch and focus it in on the back. Okay, I'll show you what I mean. So uh, when we stretch forwards like this, what we're doing is we're opening up this part of the back here, the mid thoracic. So we're opening it out. Then we go back this way. We're stretching that open this way. Okay, you got it? So that kind of like frees up the vertebrae around the heart center area on the back. Okay, so let's do that. So standing, shaking, <coughs> all right? So we're focusing in on the back, mid thoracic, stretching forwards, opening up that part of the spine. Breathing in, breathing out, going back, Opening up and stretching out the mid thoracic there. I'm lifting my head up slightly and I'm using this stretch to get right into that part of the back. <sighs> Lovely. Okay. And again, opening it out and pushing my hands forward slightly here to open out the mid thoracic. Can you see that? So I'm doing that. I'm not doing it from the shoulders, I'm doing it from there. That's it. Keep breathing in. Breathing out, opening up the heart here and stretching away. I'm just going to adjust my arms slightly to get the right stretch. There we go. And I'm bringing the breastbone, the chest bone, the sternum forward slightly to stretch out the mid thoracic there. It's just a variation of the heart protector stretch. So one more time, breathing in. And breathing out. Oh, I'm just going to adjust my arms until I get just the right stretch. Round about here. Stretching my head up. Lovely. Wow. Okay. And then we're tuning into the whole heart center. Now your feet are like really open now. This is really open all the way through into the back. So the only thing we need to do now is just make sure we get that spine as open as we can all the way down. 
So we're going to tap down here like this, down into the upper back, and then down as far as we can this way. Of course, if you've got someone working with you doing the exercises, you can get them to tap along your back like that. But if you're on your own like me, then we're going to go like this, tap down. Down to the sacrum, and then we can get once you can go down the bladder channel right down to the feet just to connect that whole bladder channel. So it goes from here all the way down. T1, that bit that we can't really reach, we've already stretched it open, so that would be nice and freed up. And then picking up as high as we can, tapping down onto the sacrum, and down to the feet. There we go. Okay, so that's a really good way of opening up that whole channel, connecting it into the back. Excellent. Okay, good. So we've got some time now to really integrate everything together. We're going to do that mainly with internal Qigong, and then we're going to tune in again to the heart center at the end and see how it matches our scan. Um, and how much change we've got in the last hour of doing the exercises. Okay, so let's do some internal Qigong, connecting up the yin of the earth, the yang of the heavens with the heart center. Okay, so here we are. I'm gonna stand first of all. I'm gonna open up kidney one, just stretching my, wiggling my toes. <laughs> Concentrating on the top of my head, floating my head up. And now see if we can get nicely balanced between the earth and the sky. If you remember, the most of us at the beginning of this session were mainly up, felt ungrounded. So you may want to put just a bit more attention into kidney one. Now that we've done all the exercises, you should be able to kind of regulate it and feel that connection down into the earth. Okay, so here's a here's a uh, internal Qigong exercise to enhance that yin feeling. We're going to place our hands over the lower dan tian here. Okay, we're going to use the kidney channel to breathe qi or yin from the earth into the lower dan tian. Okay, so this is how we do it. What we do is we breathe in. As we breathe in, we imagine the yin energy coming up through kidney one and into our hands here. Okay. So you want to try just imagine it like a cool liquid or like a, a like a yin feeling coming up from the earth through kidney one. Okay, so here we go. Opening up kidney one, relaxing the shoulders and breathing in and bringing the breath up through the shoulder of the feet. Okay, and then hold it. And as we breathe out, we send that energy, send the energy down the legs through Kidney one like a root, it goes right down deep into the center of the earth. Here we go. Okay, so our roots have gone right down to the earth, and now they're going to bring that liquid or that yin up through kidney one as we breathe in. Here we go. Hold it. Long exhalation, send those roots down. Okay, brilliant. Okay, so now we're going to bring that yin energy up through kidney one as we breathe in. Hold it and breathe out, send the roots down. Bring the yin up. Hold it and send those roots down. Okay. 
Okay, brilliant. So now just check in and see how you feel. You probably feel pretty much rooted. You try and bring up one of your legs. Oh, they're getting stuck with the earth. Those roots have gone so far down to the earth, you can't actually like move your leg. Oh, like really, really happy. And that's a really good internal chill exercise to really chill yourself out, get that feeling of grounding back. So those of you who voted for being two up, being in the session, just remember that internal. You need to do it for about three or four breaths, five breaths, and you'll switch your energy around just like that. And you'll feel completely so much more grounded. Again, now one, once we've done that, the really cool thing is we've now got the Dan Tien charged up with the yin energy, and we can now connect that up with the heart. Now, remember, about half an hour ago, we didn't really have too much of a connection going on there. But now, let's see if we can really, really connect it up. We've got our kidney one roots going right down to the earth, so we're really stable, like a huge tree. We've got the Dan Tien really strong, okay? And now we're going to imagine the chi connection between the heart and the kidneys, okay? And we do it like this, okay? We breathe in, first hit this hand, the top hand, and then breathe out. Now we're going to breathe into here and then down into here, okay? So breathing in. Okay, hold it. Imagine that your hands are connected deep in your body. Keep relaxing, hold the breath, and breathe out. As you breathe out, imagine like a connection of light between the two hands, something like that. Anything like that that works for you. Here we go, breathing in, we're going to breathe in through here, down to this hand, breathing in. Hold it, connect the two hands, and breathe out. Very, very good. Okay, keep that kidney one root down into the earth. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out and connect the two hands. Okay, now you're probably feeling quite a bit of buzzing or heat between the hands, and that's amazing. Okay, because now look, if you just stand, tune into your energy, tune into how your body feels, you'll feel that real strong connection with the earth, the breaths coming in nice and easily. But the main thing is look at this the whole upper burn at the heart center is just kind of calm. Your mind doesn't feel at all obstructed now, it's kind of opened out. And hopefully, those of you that have more of an agitated and a weak feeling will feel it much, much more stable and kind of strong now and not, so, not that agitated thing on the top there. And if you do ever get that agitated thing, you know what to do. Get those roots down, connect up the lower dantian to the heart center. Okay, look at that, it's the end. Okay, I really hope you've enjoyed today. It's been just what I needed. I tell you what, after going to the dentist for 45 minutes, exactly what, what I needed. So I'm just gonna, Pop onto the chat now and see what's happening. Oh, there we go, great. Okay, excellent. Good, feeling energized, that's great. That means the energy, that means the yang energy has been connected. Yeah, good, okay, cool. I'm glad you all enjoyed it. I'm gonna put my heart in the chat myself. Thank you, Basti, for looking after the chat. And uh, I think next week is um, let's just look back at the timetable. We've got March the 6th. We're going to look at the mental level um, of the heart protection triple heater. And we've got heart protection nine is the point. So really look forward to that. Okay, have a terrific week, everyone. And uh, thank you for your support of the Wednesday class. I'm going to shut the webinar up until next Wednesday. There we go.